Do you want to know the best quality to set for each game on your Oculus Quest 2 to get the best experience? Hey guys, in this tutorial video on my channel on Diamond, I'm going to show you how to get the best settings, like Beat Saber, Population 1, Onward, or just to chill, like big screen and stuff like that. Plus, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to stream your content and how to record with the best, highest quality, and you know, not to get these weird little circle things, but you want... 1080p resolution. I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that with a step-by-step -step guide So you guys want to make sure you follow along so you guys don't miss anything and get stuck Step number one is that you need a link cable because you need to connect your oculus quest 2 to your PC guys I have a link cable 60 feet long that I recommend you guys check out link is down below in the description It's an affiliate link So if you're gonna buy the product and also support my channel at the same time Then please go through my link The next thing you want to do is go over on your computer and download side quest uh, link down below in the description And once you're in side quest, you know on the top right and there's this little wrench tool like the settings tool and once you go on that, there's a lot of different settings you can choose here. I'm going to show you guys right now. So right over here on the top right, click on this and look at all these settings that we can do, which you cannot do natively in the Oculus Quest 2, which is kind of sucks. But at least we got this side quest is here to save the day. So there's different settings that you can do here. But the one that we're going to be focusing on today for the different games is the default texture size. That's going to make the most amount of difference. I made a video on this, so go check it out right here. I just show you guys uh, what the resolution do and like how high, how much higher it is and whatever. And since now I got you to look up there. How about look down over here? I think it's over here or over here and smash that like button. So quick disclaimer before we get into the different settings for each game, I recommend you guys try this out and see which one is most comfortable for you. And also uh, you may see that in some of these gameplays I'm showing you here, it kind of lags and it kind of goes slow. That's because once you record, it uses the power of your, you know, Quest 2 to record the video. So you might get less performance uh, when you record. Anyway, more about recording at the end for now. In general, I'm going to kind of explain how uh, you, what you want to do for most people, I guess. I would say that if you're just chilling out in big screen, watching videos and whatever, I would keep this relatively low because this, the default texture size actually doesn't mess with the video itself. So it doesn't mess with the, the YouTube video or whatever video you're watching. So like if you're watching on YouTube or big screen or uh, somehow Netflix or whatever, it doesn't mess with it. It only messes with the environment. So like the surroundings, but the video itself um, the movie or whatever it is, it doesn't, you know, it keeps it at the full resolution. But at the same time, you want it kind of relatively high. So I would keep it at probably 2048. If you see it kind of go low on performance and you want to put that a little bit lower, but I think 2048 would be good because it has, you know, it looks like you're actually in the place because everything will look more realistic as the quality is higher. But at the same time, you know, get a good uh, quality in the video. And also since you're at it, go ahead and turn on 90 Hertz just in case. Um, I don't think it works for all the apps. So you want to make sure you click on 90 Hertz. If you guys want to see like the task manager, so like I guess this thing right of here. Of your Oculus Quest 2. So like it shows you the how much power your CPU is, is using up, how much FPS you're getting and all that kind of stuff. Then you want to download something called Oculus Developer Hub. Enable uh, OVR metrics. But in order to do this, all this kind of stuff, you're going to have to enable uh, Oculus Developer Mode. And I made a video on that, so make sure to go check out this video right here in the card. But anyways, for the fun part, so what about action-packed games? Uh, games where you need to, you need a lot of performance, basically. You need high quality, both on performance, you know, FPS, and also just quality in general. You want to see enemies far away, clearly, knowing exactly, you know, where to shoot and whatever. You get the gist. Right here, I would say that for the most part, you probably want to at 2048. Uh, as always, make sure to go check this out for yourself. This is what it, this is how it works for me. It's kind of different uh, for everyone, and it's kind of depends by how you feel with this. Oh, and by the way, sorry guys, if I didn't mention this, I'll mention this now. Uh, in order to enable, to, you know, set all these settings, all you have to do is connect your Oculus Quest 2 to your computer. You have to click it, you have to click this thing right here. Right now I don't have it connected, so it says failed. But if it were connected, it would say green light, you know, give me a green light, and it says that it's it's ready to go. And when it, once it is, it doesn't mean that you're automatically gonna see it at that given resolution. You're gonna have to turn it off like this, with this button right here, like a sleep mode, like a, you know, like the sleep mode on your phone. You turn it off once, like that, well now it just turn it on, and you turn it back on, and that's what basically sets the, res the resolution. And also, you wanna do this right before you start a game, because once you start a game, you can't do it. You can't turn it off, turn it back on, it's not gonna work, you're gonna have to quit the app and redo it. So yeah, it's kind of a pain process. I don't know why Oculus uh, hasn't done anything about this. So for action games like Onward and you know shooting games like that, we're gonna focus our attention over to the FFR. Here it is, Fixed Foveated Rendering. Now I talked about this in the other video, but basically the Fixed Foveated Rendering is how much quality the Quest 2 is gonna push on the inner 
uh, section here. I'll just read the description right here. This will change how the view is rendered in the outer edges of the view screen for each eye. Higher is better performance, lower is better quality. So I think that for uh, games, like shooter games or whatever, you wanna keep this kinda high. I would say between medium and high, maybe even high top if you want to. Because yeah, you're gonna get distracted by these like lines like right beside you. But when you're playing shooter games, you're not really looking with your eyes, you're looking with your head. So you're moving your head around most of the time. So if the highest quality is right in the middle of your eye of the lenses, then that's probably the best. And uh, you reduce the, uh, the the resolution on the outer edges, which gives you more performance. But it kind of depends on what you feel like. It kind of depends on what you want. This part, I'd say, is pretty subjective. So before I get to the recording uh, settings, which is actually pretty cool, can you guys please do me a favor and like this video? It really helps me out. And also subscribing help me helps me out. Algorithmically. Algorithmically. Here's the best way to record slash uh, stream your Oculus Quest 2. The first thing you want to do always on side quests is enable full rate capture. And it explains it right here. This will enable full rate capture for the videos recorded 60 slash 72 FPS rather than 30 FPS. So obviously if you're streaming some gameplay footage, then you want to keep this at high FPS as it will get really like stuttery or it wouldn't look smooth. So keep this on. Next thing you want to do is go over here and click on 1080p. And this actually is pretty cool because when you record videos on side quest, like natively on side quest, the videos come out like rectangular or like squarish and it doesn't look so good. But 1080p actually makes it full resolution, uh, high quality. And that's pretty cool. A tip I want to say is always remember to go on side quest and click on this because I think the quest 2 just automatically just really wants you to use that horrible resolution. So sometimes it just reverts back. You want to go over here and make sure this is checked all the time, as well as the guardian. Uh, if you know if you don't want to show the guardian and it's you know it's pretty distracting. Nobody likes the guardian. Just turn it off. Next tip I have for you for recording slash streaming is to cast your footage on your computer. And there's two different ways you, you can do this. One is through a link, this link right here, that will be obviously down below in the description. It brings you to this over here, Oculus Casting, and it automatically connects to your Quest 2. Uh, you have to go over and go to share, and then go to computers, and it should automatically do this. But another way is to go over here on SideQuest, which you have a little bit more customizability. So bad with my words. So you want to turn it on and get it connected to your computer. You click this little icon right here. Okay, so streaming options. Uh, you want to keep this all the same. So keep this off. Bitrate capture 8 million. So keep that how it is. And for this, you want to copy these settings right here that I just put uh, also in the description as always. And the rest is fine. And you just do start stream. Now, this is what you should see. Honestly, I don't know if I really like this method. If you're wondering how to record your voice, well, there's a mon mic that you can buy, which attaches uh, right here or on the side. Down below in the description, you guys can find a link to a mon mic I recommend. So if you're interested in recording some sick gameplays and want your voice to be heard, then make sure to go check that link out. Now, the last thing I wanna share with you guys is how to access your videos and screenshot that you have done natively on your Oculus Quest 2. You wanna go over here to this folder icon right here. And once you're here, when you go to Oculus, and then Oculus, you have screenshots and video shots. If you go on video shots real quick, look at all these videos I have here. Um, I think the easiest thing right here to do is to look at the date. Remember when you recorded it. Say I want this to be saved on my computer. You click on this, click on this plus icon right here, and then download. All right, you do that, and you can select the location, wherever you want it, and then save to PC. And it's easy just like that. If you made it this far, then please like this video if this has helped you in any way because that will also help me out. So thank you guys for doing that. Click over here if you want to see how to play Minecraft on the Oculus Quest 2. Over here if you want to see how to play Minecraft wirelessly. If you're hearing this, then comment legend in the next upload. And now make sure not only heart it, but also pin the comment. So make sure to subscribe with notifications to my channel, Diamond.